Good morning. My name is David Roman, and I'd like to share with you this morning a little bit about the Nativity of St. John the Baptist, which is celebrated on June 24th. That happens to be about six months before uh, the Nativity of Jesus, uh, which is, of course, Christmas. You may recall in Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 45, Mary uh, visited with her cousin Elizabeth. Mary was pregnant with Jesus. John was, uh, Elizabeth was pregnant with John at the time. And according to scriptures, when J Mary greeted Elizabeth, John leapt within her, leapt within Elizabeth. On a, on a day um, that we have special days like the feast, we have two sets of readings. We have the reading of the day or the proper in the lectionary, what is proper for that day. We also have the vigils and the proper Old Testament reading for today is Isaiah 49 verses one through six. I'd like to read that for you in just a minute. Listen to me, all of you in far off lands. The Lord called me before my birth. From within the womb, he called my name. He'd made my words of judgment as sharp as the sword. He has hidden me in the shadow of his hand, and I am like a sharp arrow in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant, Israel, and you will bring me glory. I replied, but my work all seems so useless. I have spent my strength for nothing and to no purpose at all. Yet I leave it all in the Lord's hand. I will trust God for my reward. And now the Lord speaks. He who formed me in my mother's womb to be his servant, who commissioned me to bring his people of Israel back to him. The Lord has honored me. And my God has given me strength. He says, you will do more than restore the people of Israel to me. I will make you a light to the Gentiles, and you will bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. That's a reading from the Old Testament, Isaiah 49, verses 1 through 6. I'd like to pray with you from the vigil, the, altar, the Psalter, the Psalm, that comes from the special readings for this day. And I'm going to pray this set of Psalms, Psalm 71, verses 1 through 6, and it's a guided prayer, so I'm going to stop a couple of times and ask you to think about certain things. Let's pray together. O oh Lord, you are my refuge. Never let me be disgraced. Rescue me. Save me from mine enemies, for you are just. Turn your ear to listen and set me free. And Take just a moment, if you will, to just think about those enemies that you might face today. Things that might come up to, to destroy your path, to move you off of your path with Jesus. Name those. Be to me a protecting rock of safety where I am always welcome and give the order to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. So over the last few weeks, you have been blessed in some way. God has saved you. God has provided you protection. Name one way in which God has blessed you in the, in the last couple of weeks. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked, from the clutches of the cruel oppressors. O oh Lord, you alone are my hope. I've trusted you, O oh Lord, from childhood. Yes, you have been with me from birth. From my mother's womb, you have cared for me. No wonder I am always praising you. Take just a moment, if you will, to think about something that God has done. Maybe that thing you just thought about. What is something that you can praise God for today? And Father God, thank you that we can come to you in praise and thanksgiving for the mighty things that you are doing in our lives. Thank you, God, that you watch out for us. You provide care and protection and shelter from the storm through the power of your Holy Spirit working us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I'm going to read from Psalm 139, the New Living Translation. It's kind of long. 
and we've already been here for a couple minutes. So if you feel a need to move on with your day, feel free to do that. But I invite you, if you would like to, to go ahead and just either sit and listen and think about what I'm praying or saying, or pull out your own Bible and read along in Psalm 139 with me. Psalm 139, I'm going to read it in its entirety. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my every thought when far away. You chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment you know where I am. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You both precede and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to know. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, there you are. If I go down to the place of the dead, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell of the, the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are both alike to you. You made all of the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous and how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. As I was woven together in the dark of the womb, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They are innumerable. I can't even count them. They, outnum uh, they outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up in the morning, you are still with me. Oh God, if only you would destroy the wicked. Get out of my life, you murderers. They blaspheme you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Oh Lord, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I despise those who resist you? Yes, I hate them with complete hatred for your enemies are my enemies. But search me, O oh God and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. May this reading bless you today. Take some time during the day to just thank God for the life that you have, the life that he's given you, the life we have in Jesus Christ. Have a great day.